Before you intubate, you must first gather your supplies and prepare them for the procedure. First, select the proper endotracheal tube based on the size and weight of the dog. Tube diameter sizes range from 5 mm for the smallest dogs up to 12 mm for the largest dogs. Generally, you will measure the diameter of the ET tube based on the space between the nares of the nose. Some animals may need a size up or a size down from this measurement depending on their individual needs. As a general rule, you should select the largest ET tube size that will fit down the trachea. In addition to an ET tube, you will need a strip of gauze or tubing to secure the ET tube in place, some squares of gauze to hold the tongue, and lubricant for the tip of the ET tube. After gathering your supplies, administer anesthesia drugs to the dog and prep the tube with a cuff and measure the tube length from the canine teeth to the point of the scapula. Then attach a strip of gauze or tubing to the ET tube. Lube the tip of the ET tube cuff, ensuring that the holes at the end are open and not completely covered over. After administering anesthesia drugs to the dog and the ET tube prepped, it is time to place the tube. A handler will assist you with this process by holding the dog's head steady. The tube is placed into the trachea. In some cases, you will be able to see the trachea opening when looking down the throat of the dog. If you cannot, pull down the epiglottis with the tube, then maneuver the tube and aim down into the trachea. Avoid aiming the tube too high and entering the esophagus. With the tube placed, tie the tube around the top of the snout or behind the head. With the ET tube secured and in place, connect it to the anesthesia system and inflate the tube cuff to check it for leaks. Don't overinflate the cuff as it can cause damage to the trachea. Let's watch the process again in slow motion. Be sure to pay attention to where the tube is being inserted. In order to become proficient with intubation, you must practice. While you are practicing with your trainer, ask for helpful hints and refer to job aids to help you be successful.